For a U.S. Olympic hero who trains here in the mountains, last weekend was a major milestone. Mantio Mitchell finally returned to competition after the broken leg talked about around the globe. News 13's John Lee tells us about the healing process that gave him a sense of the world far beyond the track. Today is huge. There's not a whole lot of fanfare at UNC Charlotte. To even be out here and know that I'm able to run again is just a blessing for me. Jeff, come on, Jeff. Most competing here at the 49er Classic aren't exactly household names. Juanita Lido from Charlotte. It's a venue where Olympic hopefuls can gain momentum. Look how smooth that is. But they can also fall flat. Sometimes even Olympic heroes have something to prove. In this case, Mantio Mitchell wants to be world class again. I broke my leg in a race, and people expected my career to be over. Go. Right off the blocks, there were doubters. <sighs> he trained in the mountains just to get back up to speed. But even as he healed at Western Carolina University, <laughs> He never forgot the fame that came with pain. August 9th at 11.35 a.m. will always be somewhere up there. It's, That's when he sprinted into Olympic lore. At the Summer Games in London last year, he became an American Idol after breaking his leg during his part of a relay, still finishing the race, allowing the U.S. to eventually take silver. No one knew that my leg was broken but me. And, of course, God, but... My last 100, come on! He came back to Western coach 15. Danny Williamson... Finish strong, finish strong! ...to make a run at Rio in 2016. Building his base back up and everything. How fast? The road back feels like a marathon. God almighty. Getting back what he had is clearly a work in progress. The labor of love that leaves him breathless. <sighs> And that big break follows. I close my eyes for a split second and don't. I try not to think about that moment. Two months after returning home from London, Mantio finally realized Go. what he's really running for. Okay, buddy, let's take a look at you. His son, just four months old. And he's so active. Uh -huh. like he he does this all day. That's so when he's quiet, he's either watching that Mickey Mouse show uh -huh. or pooping. And seeing okay. the world through his baby boy. Okay. You got a smart baby. <laughs> That is. Simplifies everything. Well, that will eventually close up and it'll be in. Yes. Yeah. Any. For a man with so much tolerance for pain. It's all over. It's all over. Watching his son receive shots really hurts. Look what I get. The silencer. Having him, you know, there to, like, guide me is enough for me to go the extra mile to do a little bit better. More motivation than any medal. People say I inspire them, but he inspires me. I so. knew you were trouble when you walked in. His Olympic experience has given him international fame, but now as a father, he wants even more. What I did was great, what I did was awesome, but what can I do now to build off of that? <sighs> Which brings us back to Charlotte, where fellow sprinter Jeff Hendricks is in awe of Mantio's speedy recovery. Like I said, I look up to him as an idol, so it's amazing to me, honestly. You know, I think that it's, it's, it's the type of work that a true Olympian does, you know, they they don't stop. Uh, I got this tat two nights ago. A tattoo of Olympic rings marks the spot of his yeah, famous broken leg. It's so symbolic because I got it over the spot that I actually broke. So. Finally feeling back to form. Emmanuel Mitchell, lane two. Those neon shoes back in the fast lane. Seven long months on the comeback trail lead to 10 seconds. Emmanuel, come on, Emmanuel. He's just cruising in. So it's a new beginning. 219 days after the race that made him a star. I'm just glad to be back. Now, only more time will tell what he can add to that Olympic legacy. Hard training and rehab. In Charlotte. Today is major for me. John Lee, News 13. That's amazing. Yes. Coming back Wonderful. from that injury, it was an awful injury. In Charlotte, Manuel Mitchell went on to win the 200 meters, just shy of his track record. And you can see Mantio in action mm. at Western Carolina this weekend at the Catamount Classic.